What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Okay, we're gonna be talking about a lot of new makeup that's coming out. We're gonna touch on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that got secretly released. Morphe palette that just came out, girl, and the all new ColourPop My Little Pony makeup collection. So first I just wanna say, Anastasia Beverly Hills released this new palette, girl, um, secretly, almost like dropping an album without even no, without telling anybody. It was just like boom on their Instagram and people were like going crazy for it. Um, and I think it was kind of smart for them to do that, to release this new palette under the radar, not sending it out to PR yet. That way people can form their opinions and then before people even buy it, there's like this negative opinion about it and all that drama. Like with the subculture palette, y'all guys remember that drama? Seriously, I would say that's one of the biggest dramas this year with the subculture drama. But anyway, so they released this palette and uh, I'm interested to know what you guys think about that palette. Like seriously, would you buy it? Are you interested? You're not bothered by it? And then Morphe released their palette, girl. And it's like a 35-0 or something like that. And I think Jacqueline said she helped with it. Some allegedly, I don't know, girl. But it, again, girl, nothing but neutral. So boring, the house. I don't know, girl. I think I'm gonna pass on the whole Morphe palette, you know? But what's happening is there's so much makeup coming out during the holidays, it's kind of hard for me to keep up. I'm trying, girl, I'm trying, so just bear with me to keep up with it. Talk about the ColourPop My Little Ponies collection, girl. So as a whole, it looks pretty cute. Um, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the powdered highlights in Trinkles. It's actually gonna be $8, girl. Like seriously, and it looks like it's a lot of product. And it has like the little stars on there, which I think all My Little Ponies would have like the stars right here on their cheek. But it, it looks, it's a very pretty color. And I think for $8, it's like, well, why not and buy it? Hopefully it doesn't burn your face or anything like that. Because ColourPop, girl, sometimes, ColourPop can be in some drama sometimes, but I feel like ColourPop, when they get it right, they get it right. And when they don't, they don't. So powdered highlighters in Star Flower. And that's kind of like an orangey look. I don't really know if I could pull that off, but I know if you like have like a more warmer complexion, those would be really perfect for you. So definitely like give that one a look too. But if you notice, um, the compact itself is purple, just like the other one. Okay, and then we have, girl, a brushes, girl. You know, they had to do the brushes, honey. Okay, and the brushes, I believe, say My Little Pony X ColourPop, and those are $22. Um, they kind of look kind of cheap to me. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just keeping it real. If I like it, I'll tell you, but this one looks kind of like hokey pokey, you know what I'm saying? The only brush that I would actually use, I think is that foundation brush, that one looks pretty cute. But for the set being $22, it almost looks like Wet n Wild brushes with the pink tips. But how many times have we seen brushes that are pink with the silver hardware? I mean, come on, girl. Okay, and then, girl, they tried it here. They freaking tried it with the My Little Pony makeup bag at $18. Like, are you serious, girl? You know, you know that bag costs like $1 to make overseas. And I bet you that bag is not American made. I bet you it's made in China, the house. And for them to charge $18 for this bag is, I would say it's kind of like, what are you doing, girl? Are you serious? I'll pay $15, girl. I'll pay $10. But girl, not no $18 plus shipping. Hell no. So, but they have like the little My Little Pony charm on there. And then they have like the little rainbow. Uh, but, and then it's like this iridescent kind of glow. But to me, I would, it's a hard pass on that one. And this is where things get a little interesting, girl. So the pressed powder eyeshadow palette is $16, girl. $16 for all those eyeshadows, girl. Laura Lee is shaking in her boots, is shaking the house, girl. Laura Lee is shook that ColourPop can come out with all these makeup colors for $16, girl, and not $40. But I'm just saying, girl, I digress, girl, who am I? But as you can see, like on the actual picture up there, it has like these old school My Little Pony pictures. I'm more of a fan of like the new style with like the bigger eyes, the more dramatic hair, and the overly saturated colors. Like I like 
the new My Little Ponies. I think they're just more aesthetically pleasing. And it's just like more in fashion, which these is like the retro My Little Ponies. And they look kind of like dull and boring, kind of like pastel colors. And the palette itself, to me, I feel like you can get some decent looks on this palette, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like when I think of My Little Ponies, I think of bright colors. And to see this palette that looks kind of like dull and boring, it's kind of like a little bit of a letdown, but I know there's gonna be a lot of you out there who actually appreciate these colors. And appreciate the fact that it's $16. I mean, hello. But on the actual palette, it doesn't have any of the names of the colors. Which I'm pretty sure they're named after the My Little Pony horses itself. But yeah, there's no names on the on it. And then the background of the palette has like, I guess, I, it looks like ponies in the background. But we're going to go ahead and move on, girl. Okay, and then you have the Ultra Glossy Lip in Pinwheel. And that is $6. And of course, the packaging has the old school My Little Ponies as well. And that's like a pretty red. I want to know if it's more like red or pink. I don't know how to, because sometimes like they'll take pictures and they'll like saturate the colors a little bit. So when you get it, you're like, well, it's not that vibrant. So I kind of want to know about that. Okay, the next is going to be the Ultra Glossy Lip Lemon Drop. And that's $6. This kind of reminds me of the brand new, um, what's it called? Too Faced Cosmetics. They had just released like this whole new lip thing. And people are like going crazy over it. It kind of looks like that, like very similar. But I think maybe this is what they were trying to do. But we'll see when people start reviewing it online. Okay, and then we have the Ultra Glossy Lip in Flutter Valley. And that's also $6. This is like a very beautiful gold tint. And it's game with that same packaging, girl. And the same standard little bottle, girl. It's cute, girl. Not bother. I don't know if I would wear that color. I don't think that color is for everybody. But definitely worth a look. And you got the Ultra Glossy Lip in Moon Dancer. That's also $6. This color right here. Let me tell you something. I feel like this color is going to be a knockout. I feel like if you don't want if you don't like anything in this whole entire collection, I guarantee you that this Ultra Glossy Lip in Moon Dancer for $6 will be their number one seller. Um uh, any anytime brands does a color like this, like that dark berry, it always sells out. Like it's very like Kylie Cosmetics, like it's very like uh, retro 90s, very sexy girl with the box braids, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, but yeah, it, this this lipstick says, this lipstick says I'm ready, let's go party. So next we have Ultra Glossy Lip in Ponyland for $6. This one I actually like. I can see people pulling this one off as well. And then next we have the Ultra Glossy Lip in Dream Castle. Uh, Dream Castle and the other one up above, they look kind of similar. Uh, but I think Dream Cast Castle is pretty cute if you want to be fun and step outside of your comfort zone. Definitely try that one. Oh, yes, girl. And then we have the Super Shock Shadow and Sunbeam for $5. Like, that's why I'm kind of excited about this collection. That's why I'm talking about it. But $5, girl, for all that product and this type of um, eyeshadow, I think it's pretty cute, girl. And then also we have the, I mean, oh, here we go, Super Shock Shadow in Posey. I mean, how many times have we seen this color before? On and on and on, no drama. Such a boring color. And I think at this point, if you're starting out with makeup, this will be perfect for you to buy because it's $5. But at the same time, I think a lot of us already kind of have like this type of neutral color. And then next is going to be the Super Shock Shadow in Cherry's Jubilee. I'm kind of excited for this one actually because... It's hard to find like a really good white uh, without it like caking up and looking chalky. Um, so I'm really I'm really excited to see how this one turns out actually. So this whole collection drops on October 5th. So definitely check it out if you're interested on it. Not sponsored at all, but if you're interested in checking it out, I mean, there are some stuff that I really do like on here that I think would be a massive hit. But for the most part, I'm kind of disappointed in the palette. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think about all that drama. But as always, girl, if you like the video, smash that like button. It does help me out so much. Um, if you like the video, share it. Don't like the video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. All right, see you in the next video. Peace.